Hey, what's up everybody? We're back on Decon Nation. Uh, I feel like it's been a while. Uh, I think it's been three weeks or so since I've washed the M3. Just been out of town and really busy. Um, so the last video you might have seen was the spoiler install. So I just installed the new spoiler, the second new spoiler, I should say. So if you watch that video, you'll see why on that. And um, this thing just really needs a maintenance wash. Wheels are filthy, um, but I've got a lot of updates with the car, I feel like since the last time. I did a wash and just talked to you guys. So um, I'll talk about that. Uh, I'm gonna get set up on the wheels. I'll film that, show it first like normal. And then uh, this is just a maintenance wash. Uh, haven't had time for ceramic coating yet. Um, so uh, I'll take you through all the steps. We do just simple wash dry, obsessed garage drying aid and be done. So should be pretty easy. Let's get it. All right, we're all set up for the wheels. Um, it's a little bit after seven o'clock here, so I'm trying to make this a quick wash before it gets dark. Um, so I'm kind of working against daylight here, but hopefully you still pick it up good in the camera. Um, what, I'm, what I really want to update you guys on is this is at least three weeks since I've washed this car. And if you remember, I installed ceramic pads on the rear. And before, you know, I definitely couldn't see the, the color part on the bicolor. You had black and then this polished part. And now I still can after three weeks. And what I probably should do is show you the front as well. So the front is a little dirtier, but I can still see the bicolor, but that's some Carbotech pads. Uh, that's Carbotech and the back is dynamic friction. They just didn't make the dy dynamic frictions for the front. So they were a little dirtier, but I mean, that's also with some pretty hard driving. You know, there was a Sunday, a couple Sundays ago that I went on a, uh, on a road and just did some driving and got some high speed, some hard braking. I've done some launches and all that. So the brakes are, uh, are good so far and they feel awesome. So I'm glad I did that. I'm also trying out a couple new cleaners, but let's just rinse this first. So again, my Obsessed Garage um, hose and gun with the active VE52 Ultimate package. It's about a thousand bucks for everything, but it's awesome. So my press-all bottle, I've got Adam's tire and rubber cleaner. I'm actually gonna try that this time. I've never tried that on this car, but they're real filthy. And I wanna use, um, I have another wheel cleaner that I wanna try on here on here but detail factory brush that i love from obsessed garage i'll tell you what i've noticed is some of you guys have bought things through my links in the description and i really appreciate that they're just supporting um, pages i support look i have no uh, i don't get paid at all i mean i get i get paid if you buy something but i don't get sponsored i guess is what i'm saying by any page so nothing is free for me so i appreciate it when you guys spend money cost you the same and i get small commission off of it i mean it's nothing major all right so i've been hearing a lot about sonex wheel cleaner and you might have seen if you watched the f-150 series i did use some of this on there but this is the Sonax Beast wheel cleaner, acid-free. I think it does have some iron removing properties in it. I really like their sprayers too, but uh, this one smells more like an iron remover type of spray. Ah, it smells pretty good actually. I'm just gonna turn purple. Easy detail brush. A half for spokes and then what I'm going to do is I can't wait to to get some time because I'm going to take these wheels off completely and ceramic coat the entire wheels I got some CarPro Deluxe and Gliss from Obsessed Garage so I'm going to do that combo but just like any other ceramic coating it just takes some time so I need some time we were out of town recently 
We were in Las Vegas for a week for a work conference. Um, then we are going to the beach this weekend. But we're going to Orange Beach with my parents and bringing the kids. Orange Beach is Alabama right next to Gulf Shores. It's been one of our favorite spots forever, really. Just always been one of our favorites to go to. So we're going a Friday through a Tuesday. This is the Obsessed Garage lambskin wool mitt. And I like it because it's easy to get all in these crevices versus a brush. I can just do it by hand better. But these back wheels don't get nearly as dirty either, which is great. I think it's no matter what you do to the wheels, I think it's impossible to have a touchless application where you could just spray something on it and it'll clean, I mean, it'll clean most of it, but it's not gonna get it right. So the fronts have uh, Carbotech, which were like 300 and something bucks, and these were like 50 bucks on the back. So the Carbotechs are definitely more expensive. Um, feel amazing. Initially, they, they still wore with a lot of dust, but I think over time now, you know, having them close to a month, I would say, um, I can tell they're, they're not as bad as stock. Now, these rear brakes are ceramic. Those are still uh, metallic, I believe, those Carbotex. So I really wanted ceramic, and I just could not find a good pair of ceramic pads yet. There's just not a lot available yet for the G80. So I'm just going with what I can work with. And I'm working with what I got, essentially. And if more come out in the future, if Dynamic Friction would ever make a, a ceramic pair just like these, I think I would jump all over it and change them again. Because these rear ones have been awesome. And I don't track the car you know, I'm sure they're not the best for the track. I mean, Carbotech even says these are more like street performance versus track performance. So you can still use them a decent amount, you know, in a good way, but not suitable for the track. I guess under high heat for long periods of time, they would probably fade and not work very well is my guess. For a not too dirty wheel, that wheel cleaner looks like it really worked well. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna finish up the other three wheels and then we'll, um, we'll get some GSF going this time for some foaming and washing. So I'll be back soon. All right, guys, I hope you can see well. Um, so I did all the wheels and I'm back. Uh, it's getting dark outside, so I need to keep moving. So I hadn't used this in a while. It's the Koshimi GSF, which is preferred, maybe number one brand for foam. It's pH neutral and soaping. I hadn't used it in a while because I have so much Adams car shampoo and mega foam, which I love actually, but I figured I'm gonna give her the, uh, the, the Gucci treatment today. You can call it, you know, the, the best one out there. So first I just need to give the car a rinse. I'm gonna do it with my sharp nozzle and just see how it is. I usually use my um, wand, but I could reach pretty well. And the only thing I've had on here is drying aid. I mean, the car is filthy. It's been raining. The only thing I had done was I did wipe the front with some um, ceramic waterless from Adams one or two times maybe just because so many bugs so I just I can't stand leaving those bugs on there I'm really liking this spoiler it's exactly what I was looking for So another video that you'll see is the carbon side vent. Uh, I installed those, filmed and edited and it's scattered to post. 
um, as I, it hadn't been posted yet as I filmed this video, but there, you know, right here, it covered the matte black portion of what was there. So I like that. So no more matte black. So the car's coming along really good. So hopefully I could be done in about 30 to 45 minutes because I'm pretty hungry as well. And I'm so routine on everything. One of those things is eating. My seven o'clock meal is usually two hamburgers, just lean ground beef with fat-free cheese on a bun, two of them. Uh, the good part about cleaning right now is that it's not nearly as hot, number one, and I'm in the shade, which helps me uh, where it's not drying so fast. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my MTM foam cannon. I'm gonna put, I'm trying to see here, I'm gonna put 150 milliliters of GSF, which I'm guessing is three to four ounces, but you can see it is just that. I'm gonna fill the rest of the way up with um from my rinse bucket actually so all right what i also did was i put i'm gonna guess about three ounces or so of gsf in my wash bucket so i'll be able to get that right after but let's give her some foam shake this up a little bit just to mix it it smells so good already So what I did not film, but I just finished was a 2022 C8 Carvette. A friend of mine just picked it up recently and I had mentioned in some other videos that he wanted a ceramic coat it, so we did that. And I actually taught him along the way, so we didn't film, we just had some great conversation. He's an attorney in town. So it was just a lot of good talk, like we've been best friends. You know, it's... Um, it's funny, he's, he's, we're 20 years apart, and uh, we both played the drums in school. He still plays the drums in a band today on the side. He played on the golf team in high school. I played in high school and through college. Um, he's obsessive about cars. I am, <laughs> clearly. So we had so much to talk about. This stuff does smell great. Kind of like a cherry-ish. Although I do love Adam's Mega Foam and the smell. I'm gonna be honest, Adam's Mega Foam is, is uh, it's a great product, I think. All right, so I'm gonna take the rest of this just a little bit and I'm gonna put it in my wash bucket. Let's get to washing. So I also put a little soap on my pad itself. I always do that and I go that side down first. I'll just be excited to have it all clean. I clean the interior. Uh, it was either last night or night before. You know, my kids dirty it up. And we're going to the beach. You know, it's about a four to four and a half hour drive for us from just outside New Orleans right here. And I really want to take this car just because I love driving it, especially on the highway. But I may take the Jetta because that's our extra car. Um, so I might clean that tomorrow just to have it in case. But that Jetta, you know, I'm going to get 40 miles to the gallon, which is nice. You know, it's, it's a little more roomy, I would say, than this car. And the biggest thing is I don't care if they just, you know, mess it up much with sand and 
beach and whatever. You know, it's three kids that I have. Um, so I'm unsure on that. Plus, I, I think the Jetta has the Jetta has more trunk room. That's my biggest concern is is just being able to fit them, fit all the luggage. The dogs are being boarded. Juliet, Golden Retriever, and Hank. It's a French Bulldog. So they'll be taken care of. Now I had that ceramic waterless that I used to wipe. Um, actually it was, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was, and I topped it with Slick and Slide. So Adam's Slick and Slide is Obsessed Garage Drying Aid. Same thing. Um, and I could just see the separation of the soap on the hood, so. I really do like that stuff. It just rejects everything. So, gonna be out of town a lot coming up. So we, we go to the beach. When we get back, which will be Tuesday of next week, so we leave Friday. Today is actually Tuesday. Um, we leave Friday, drive to the beach, uh, drive home Tuesday. And then that Friday, just a couple of days later, my wife and I fly out a direct flight from New Orleans to London. And we're going on an eight day, seven night cruise out of Southampton through um, Ireland and Scotland. So that should be really cool. I've never been to that area. I've been to Europe in college, but um, never into London, definitely never to Ireland or Scotland. So we're excited about that. Got a couple of excursions booked. Good part about the front is I had really taken all the bugs off already and haven't driven it much. So I've got 2,500 miles on the car now, and that's actually exactly how much miles I had on the oxide gray rear wheel drive M3 comp, the 22, when I traded it. So between both cars, I'm uh, right at 5,000 miles now. Total put on 2022 M3s, you could say. And if there's one thing I gotta say, I'm not the least bit tired of this car at all. I just enjoy every bit of this thing. Like every time I get in it, I enjoy the tech. I enjoy the way the seats feel when I sit in them. I enjoy the sounds. I enjoy the acceleration. I really enjoy it so much more than my F80 M3, which was a competition manual. Even though I love manuals, you know, I've kind of just, not, not outgrown them, but I guess just haven't, had the extreme desire. I like driving one, but this for my daily, I'm just really enjoying. You know, and maybe I'll never get to get a manual again because it may be obsolete at some point, but I mean, I love this eight speed. More so, I, so I had the DCT on my 2016 M4. And I, just for me personally, i rather this uh, transmission, this 8-speed, so much better. It's just still aggressive when I want it to be, and it's smooth. It's just, it's, it's, it's everything I'm looking for, and I just really enjoy this car. So I'm so curious to see where this car goes as they update it, because BMW always takes it up a notch, you know, and they're always cars just change over time and unfortunately the next change may be hybrid so I'm trying to enjoy this as long as I can before they make that jump AMG is and look I saw the new AMG today in the C63 and I think it looks pretty awesome to be honest um, but or the C43 was released 
and it looks awesome. But it's a two cylinder, it's a two liter four cylinder turbo hybrid. So it's gonna make some crazy amount of 600 something horsepower, but man. It's uh, look, I've driven, I've driven two BMW electric cars. The new iX, um, the, the SUV, and the i4. And look, both were fun. Don't get me wrong. I would not, and quick, you know, slam me in the back of your seat. 500 horsepower, 500 plus horsepower in each one. But what I'll tell you is, I would not trade my M for either. And I have faith, I really do, that BMW will give us, continue to give us good M cars, even if everything has to go electric at some point. Just, I'm not ready for full electric. I'm not even sure I'm ready for hybrid. There's a lot of supercars with hybrids, but now you're talking McLarens and Porsche 918 Spiders. You know, that Porsche is like one of the most insane cars ever. But we're not talking, um, I don't think we're talking a two liter four cylinder. You know, I'm just worried about the sound, I guess. I'd almost rather it be all electric and have no sound versus a uh, four cylinder. Hey, look, I've heard some Porsches that are four cylinders and they don't sound bad, so, you know, I'm guessing there's something that can be done, but, ah, uh, I'm just, just not ready for all that change yet, but it's coming, guys, so we need to be ready. Change is upon us. The gas prices are where they are. I mean, electric is just going to be pushed more and more. You know, and I'm in Houma, Louisiana, which is one of the oil and gas capitals of the world. You know, that's our entire economy down here, and I don't work in it, but it affects my business. Because everybody down here is employed by oil and gas the vast majority of, of this area and I don't even know what the population of this area is anymore before the Gulf was shut down it was around 40,000 I would believe so I feel like a lot of people have left I'm gonna have to double check the camera here before long because so my cannon does shut off at I think it's 30 minutes it just stops recording and that's a, a canon thing from what I understand. But I've almost got it rinsed here. And then we're gonna blow dry. All right, so video's back rolling. Got my Ego 765 CFM. And let's blow everything off, including the wheels. Um, so I'll probably just blow a little bit. It's loud, I can't really talk. And then I'll just, uh, edit the video where we'll, you'll, we'll pick up when I finish blowing. Pull it in the garage. I'm just gonna kind of back it up a second too because, turn my radio down. My rotors rust up so fast. And I usually have my wife's car out, but it's late, so I should be able to get around it good enough. Here, I'm just kind of pulling over to the side a little bit. Should be good. There. All 
All right, I'm gonna get the garage door closed and we're gonna use Obsessed Garage Drawing Aid. Just picking up my GSF. Car soap and shampoo is something that I just keep a lot of it because I go through so much of it. Like that GSF, that's only the second time I use it. I mean, that's half that bottle gone. Easy. So, all right, so I just need my seat. I'm getting, um, I got one of these towels too from Obsessed Garage. They're just the two towels sewn together. I just love them, just for the drying aid. Just so you can see the majority of the car. Yeah, I actually kind of like, I kind of did like washing this lake because even though it's still hot and humid, that sun's not just beating directly on the car. So it's, uh, it's just so much better. And it doesn't dry as fast. It doesn't spot on me. And this, this drying aid has always been just awesome. You know what's funny about this thing? And maybe just a marketing thing. So, like I mentioned earlier, the um, Adam Slick and Slide, if you watch the video with Pan, Pan the Organizer, he has this guy, I forgot his name, maybe Chris or something, he's from B&B Blending in Colorado. Well, they blend all of Adam's products, and he was interviewing him, and they also blended this Obsessed Garage Drying Aid, and the way they came about that product was by accident, really. And Matt fell in love with it, but he just had him put no dyes, no smells which for, for this product i really kind of like because i guess the um the coloring doesn't take as well so to speak and the slick and slide is yellow and it separates in the bottle it gets your towel entirely too colored versus like their detail spray but um but yeah so the blender if you listen to him so he says in the interview it's the exact same product the weird thing is, Obsessed Garage and Matt calls it a drying aid. And that's what it's used for, so I'm using it for right now. Absolutely love it. On the back of the Adams bo bottle, and if you watch any of their videos on the Slick and Slide, they say it's not intended to be a drying aid. Their detail spray, their traditional detail spray, is intended to be their drying aid, or their graphene detail spray. So I don't know if they just don't want it taking away from sales of their detail sprays you know, which i still have a bunch of that because i like it as a clay lube as well this stuff is awesome it's so slick um so yeah so i use it as a clay lube as well um but i've never tried the slick and slide as a drying aid so you know maybe if i if i wash the jetta tomorrow and i'll film it for you guys i may try the uh I may try it. I may just use it as a drying aid. What I've always done was I've dried the car with detail spray or something else. And then um, I come back with the slick and slide as a topper. And you've seen that in some of my videos because that's how I thought you were supposed to use it. And then I watched the interview and I'm thinking, man, that's funny. probably need to end up getting a second towel so I'm thinking tell you one thing I'm ready to finish I'm so hungry you know diet's another big part of my routine I try to stay in as best of shape as possible I don't like big swings you know where people have I'm no bodybuilder but you know I do work out daily I'm usually off one day a week sometimes two but uh, you know you always hear about like an off season I'm not about the off season. I'm always on. That's just how, that's, that's my mentality. So I'm very consistent in my weight and what I eat because of that. I don't want to gain 30 pounds and then, you know, drop those 30 pounds and gain it back and you know, these up and down swings because what I don't like to do, I would love to pig out for a while. And I do that sometimes. And I have my fun, like I'm going to do that at the beach. What I don't like to do is restrict my calories and really diet down that is no fun to me 
because I love to eat. So even if I could eat healthy things that's, and maintain, that's what I'm going to do. I've got the smallest little bug residue still on there that I may have to get something. Just tell where they splattered. Just may have to get something a little stronger for up there. Hope you guys can see me back here. I can't see the camera too well from way back here. So, I may try the slick and slide. Um, I've been having a gallon of it forever and never using it, and now I'm like, man, I want to use it now. But I'm really enjoying doing all these videos. I mean, this is just such uh, like it's it's like such therapy for me. So I really do appreciate anybody who's followed along. You know, it's not to get a million subscribers. You know, if that happens, great. You know, but. I'm just going to keep doing this consistently because it's what I love to do. That's the main thing. And I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys. You know, Matt says the haters will come out, which is fine. You know, I, won't, I don't take any offense when the haters come out. He calls them dum-dums. <laughs> you know, he says something like that. It's a little streak that might be on the inside. But I just love the way this drying aid finishes. It just finishes so clean and slick. All right, I'm gonna get my seat and do this side of the car. So I kind of always had the same routine. Did hood, windows, windshield. I'm sorry, I did roof, windows, windshield. I did the hood, the whole back trunk on the top. So now I'm just gonna start on this side of the car. You know, right there, I sprayed a pretty good bit of this. It does not take much. Some people use a two towel method for this where, you know, they spread it around with one towel and then they finish drawing it with another, which is a, another great method. This though, I feel like, uh, you know, it's, it's an, it soaks up enough where I can kind of get both steps with it in. I mean, if I don't, I don't have, a, have another towel if it gets too saturated, so not a big deal. These gloss black side skirts, you know, stay so dirty. Just like having a gloss black car, you know, no different. That's something I would like in carbon fiber, I think, but you know, along with the mirror caps. Now what I bought was some carbon fiber wrap to play and just try it out for fun just because I like doing little projects like that. And I'll probably just peel it right off. <laughs> but uh, like I had, um, you, you might see a video of me smoking my tail lights out with some uh, vinyl, just like I did the reflectors. And a couple days ago, I ended up peeling off that smoke tint, I got a little nick in it. Get a little scratch or something in it. It's kind of like PPF, it's not, it's not self-healing like PPF, PPF can be. Ah, little thread caught right there. Um, so it was just getting on my nerves, the, the little nick. So I said, ah, I'm gonna take them off. I could always redo it later for fun, you know. So I'm gonna use this drying aid on the wheels as well. I've done slick and slide before for that. On previous video, uh, vehicles, not videos. But the slick and slide has worked well there. And look, I think Adam sells the slick and slide for, I think it's 44 bucks a gallon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Obsessed Garage is 50 bucks a gallon. So essentially it's the same as, that's no different. I mean, even if it was some difference, I would probably still just support Matt with Obsessed Garage. Just great group of guys. If you've never been there and you're ever passing near Orlando in the villages, you need to stop in. Everyone's super welcoming including Matt, you know, if he's there, 
he'll talk to you and he's just a, he's, he's just a real quality guy to be around. And what I appreciate about him the most, I guess because I have the same problem, you know, is, an, is kind of the never enough attitude or, you know, his the never ending suit of perfection. Because you can't achieve perfect, so you're always pursuing it. And I'm just like that in a lot of ways. You know, just books and podcasts and videos I watch and the things I listen to. I have like two little bugs. So you really need to treat, pre-treat your bugs if you have them badly or remove them first because anytime you're gonna have just a soft wash with like a GSF or Adams, um, that's, that's not gonna be a strong enough chemical nor strong enough wiping to remove them. You know, if you, if you use slick and slide, or drying aid. I would say that's not a replacement really for detail spray either. I actually use the Adams detail spray very little now. Not because I dislike it, but it's just, it's, a, it's still a good product. It's, it's the product that brought me to Adams, took me away from Meguiar's, and just really exposed me to Adams. Um, let me get the camera. You know, it really exposed me to atoms, but um, there's just no protection in the detail spray. So I have very little use for it, I guess, nowadays. You know, I still use it as a clay lube. I just, I do like it as clay lube. I have N914 McKees 37. And 914 rinseless wash that's diluted. I think it's 1 to 128, um, which you use as a clay lube, which I love the smell of. It just smells very clean. It's not strong, but it's not as slick as detail spray. I guess it could be if you uh, change the dilution, maybe. I'm going to wipe these door jams too because they're going to bleed all over. Um, so I just still. I still enjoy the, the detail spray sometimes. Now, I haven't tried like Gion's uh, clay lube, which I've always wanted to. Or oh, I think CarPro makes one, I forgot the name of it. I haven't tried that. Now you're not gonna be able to see me if I get the whole back area right here. But uh, do you really need a dedicated clay lube? I mean, you need to have clay lube, whether you're using synthetic clay or uh, or a clay bar. Either way, you definitely got to have it. I'm just going to get the trunk back here. I'm going to pop that open. I have to get wheels and door jams, and that's it. This, this uh, drying aid, I put this all over windows. I mean... I think it works amazing on windows. I hear the crickets coming out, so it must be getting dark outside. Yeah, it's 810, usually by 830, it's dark here. So that'll be perfect time. And I'm gonna wrap this up here in a minute with you guys. And uh, I'm gonna have to pick up my pressure washer, buckets, and all of that. Oh, I didn't get this part. See, I'm at the point really where I could probably get a new towel. But I'm also at the end. So let me lower this. I'm gonna wipe the wheels and come back at you guys and, and close and finish up. All right, so the car's all dry, it looks awesome. You know, I couldn't finish without the last touch and that's some Obsessed Garage tire dressing along with the curveball brush. 
It is just my favorite tar dressing. Not because Matt sells it, because it's the best. Because <laughs> everything I put on, it just doesn't have this look to it. It doesn't stay. This does not sling all over the car. That's one of the most impressive things about it that I've noticed. But I just love the way it sits and looks. And I need to get a little, uh, I usually have a little towel on hand for overspray. I did happen to get a little bit right there. It's not as greasy either as, as the others. It just works. I don't know how to describe it. It was different than any other tire dressing I've ever put on and it just flat out works. And that's it. And it's gonna dry with a little less shine, I would say. A little bit more of a, uh, of a satin style finish, kinda. But again, I appreciate you guys watching. Man, I'm so thankful for everybody who just participated, subscribed, asked questions, commented. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun. So I'm going to be going, um, but I have videos all set and scheduled um, to last me while I'm going. And you know, flight to London is nine to 10 hours direct. So I've got a lot of time to edit as well on the plane. So um, I should have plenty of content to get us through the summer at least. But I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm thankful. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm humbled by some of the things you guys say um, so, and send me, so I really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to get an Instagram page going and a TikTok going with Decon Nation, Facebook page. Uh, may do a Facebook group or something, but uh, just stick around. There's going to be more to come. So subscribe if you like. Uh, more of the M3 coming. Still got to do the full process and ceramic coat this thing with that CSL, which is my favorite. So um, stick around. Thanks for watching.